So, kids, what do you remember about Puck Denver last time? Um, what did we study? On the Bible. Ezra. Ezra and Nehemiah. What did Ezra do? Uh, he did not obey God. No, Ezra was a prophet. He obeyed God very well. Oh. He was a priest, and he helped God's people get back on track, right? Yeah. And what did Nehemiah do? Do you guys remember? On the other side of the couch? Something about walls? What did he do with the walls, Ellie? Uh, he, um, he rebuilt the walls. In how long? Around... No, be fast. 52 days. So what's after Ezra, Nehemiah? Esther. Esther. So what do you think we're going to study today? Esther. We're not studying Hannah. Your name is Hannah, but we're not studying Hannah. We're studying Esther. And we might well get to jo Hannah at some point, though. We might get to Hannah. There is a lady named Hannah in the Bible. We're going to probably get there. Well, Hannah was Samuel's mom, remember? We kind of already got there. Yeah, Hannah, Sam's mom. But... <laughs> okay, so should we watch What's in the Bible with Buck Denver? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you just hop off for a second? So I can sit on the couch. Can you Parts. And skips too many too. I don't know if Chester Wiggett skips too many parts or makes up too much. He's pretty good. Mm. I think. Anyways. I think he makes he he try, lots of it. He tries to make it fun. Chester Wiggett, yeah. It's pretty fun. I like his popsicle stick puppets. I like the drawings on them. <laughs> yeah, it's funny how he get, they have super long noses. Super long noses, eh? Like carrot noses. Like carrot noses. Like a snowman nose. <laughs> like a snowman nose. So what is the last historical book in the Bible? Uh, 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 the last historical book is about a girl named Esther. And the book's name is Esther. Very good, doodles. What happens? Or this book happens when? When does it happen? In the, new, in the Old Testament. It is in the Old Testament. And Ian wants to do it in... And Ian wants to jump yeah. right to the New Testament. Well, you know, lots of people do. The New Testament is kind of interesting, but it's hard to understand the New, new Testament without understanding the Old Testament, and right? It's hard to understand the Old Testament without understanding the New Testament. It's true. They go together. So, when does this book happen? Uh... It, always ends. it happens between the books of Ezra and Nehemiah. So between the return from exile and Nehemiah. So it's kind of at the end of the exile. Then how come it, then it should be me, Ezra, Esther, Nehemiah, right? Kind of, in terms of... Touch that big here. It's kind of, but... Uh, just the way things happen. You know, the book of Job actually happens probably between Genesis and Exodus. Oh, so then... So it's not always a 100% timeline. It's pretty Job good. Exodus. Yeah. It should be Genesis, Job, Exodus if it's chronological. Uh, oh, yeah. Or it might even have happened somewhere in between Genesis. Uncle Ben would know more about this. Or Pastor Joseph, maybe. I don't know. It's not your daddy's forte. Forte is a big word. You guys ask your parents what forte means. What were Xerxes I's bad habits? Um, he, um, he, uh, he had a bad temper and he listened to bad advice. Very good. What did Creed Vashi say to Xerxes? Do you know Hannah? No. No, 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 no. That's very good. Said, Very good, Hannah. No. So what happened to her? Um, she got thrown out of the palace. Kick. Kick to the curb. Kick down out, out of the palace. Boom. <laughs> yep. Esther. She got Esther. Esther is the first book of the Bible where God's people are called what? Jews? Correct. 
<laughs> Evil Heyman wanted what? To kill all the Jews. To kill them all. Yep. Did the king know that Esther was a Jew? Nope. Did he, he Hannah? Did uh huh. I think you're two for two. That's not the right answer. Uh-huh. Oh, it's not the right answer. So two. Uh-huh. No. Do the Jews still celebrate the deliverance? Or what happened to Haman? Uh, Haman got killed. Yeah, in the same way that they want, he wanted to kill Mordecai, right? Mm-hmm. Kind of poetic justice. Do the Jews still celebrate mm-hmm. deliverance from Haman in this event? Yeah, they do. And what are you supposed to do every time the word Haman is mentioned? Yeah! Ah! And boo! Make noise makers. So if I say the word hey man ah! All you people at home say hey man ah! There you go. Can we ever live up to God's standard? No. Can you live up to God's standard, Sam? No. No. None of us. None of us. Why? Did God let the people try to follow his rules for a hundred years if he knew his people could not do it? Uh, we can learn um, that um, we can't live up. We, no matter how hard we try, we can't live up to God's standard. It's true. We, have, we also learn how holy he is. Because if we only know how holy he is, we'd be very scared and how serious he is about his laws. But we also, by reading this thousand years of history, get to learn how loving he is, how forgiving he is. How many times did the Israelites screw up? Lots. Lots and lots and lots. And God never lost patience. He always forgave them. He did. I mean, he did lose patience and they had to go to the exile and then they learned. Yes, well, that was a lesson he was trying to teach them. Yeah, and he had got them out of exile, and he didn't let Haman kill them all, right? Mm-hmm. But Chester skipped the part of how they didn't get killed. Oh? Yeah, they did get killed because cause once a degree is written, kings can't change it. So Esther said... The day that they were supposed to be, so after her own degree, of the day that they were supposed to be killed, they would they would stand up for themselves. Great. And then at the end, Esther. If they tried to kill him, they could stand up for themselves. Yeah. God came. How God came to help them. It's and true. Esther built the thing to hang Haman. No, Haman uh, built the only, his Haman, Haman built, built it himself to hang Mordecai. Mordecai, because hang Haman didn't like Mordecai. He's mad at Mordecai, so he wanted to kill all the Jews. Yeah, Haman built it, and they used it on him. Yep, that kind of feeling when he meant it to be for Mordecai. Yep, it's true. Okay, I think that's it for Virtual Sunday School. we got some coloring sheets, but we're actually going to do our coloring at church today. What? Yeah. Bye-bye. You want to say goodbye to all your friends? Bye-bye. Bye, all friends.